fight bad guys like this hoodlum over here. Hi, hoodlum. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you're not doing well. What is going on, YouTube? My name's Alan, aka NeoCryptor, and today we're just going to take a very quick and brief look at Sky Saga Infinite Isles. Sky Saga Infinite Isles is a voxel adventure building crafting game, like, well, many others that are out there today. Uh, currently in alpha development, alpha 7, as of the time of this recording. And I just kind of wanted to hop in here and show you guys a little bit about it and, you know, you know, give you a brief look at what it is like thus far in alpha. Keep in mind, since this is alpha, things will change. That is part of the development cycle. So, in uh, Sky Saga, you do have races that you can create. I've already created, you know, my character, so I can't show you the character creation at the moment. Maybe if I get another key or uh, the developers are gracious enough to maybe, uh, I don't know, give me a second download of the game, second account, then I can show you the uh, character creation process and a little bit of the beginning tutorial. But really, it, there's not a whole heck of a lot to learn about it. Um, you, you start out, you've crash landed here on this sky island, which is kind of cool looking if you look around. I, I've kind of destroyed mine a little bit. That was a little bit more complete. A little bit. I may have broke it. Just possibly. So. Yeah, this is your little ship. You crash here. The ship is in pieces. You have to get it put put it back together before you can leave this island, which we can leave the island and go to the public hub and a few other places. But, you know, you uh, this is your personal space. You can do anything you want with it. Rebuild it as you see fit. And all those little islands you see here are actually part of your personal space. And you can build out to them. Some of them have resources on them, little hidden things that you can go collect and you know, craft and do whatever with. So, other than that, what is the, what's so cool about this game? Well, it kind of takes a page from Trove and Cube World, which really those two games, if you know anything about them, they're actually pretty similar as it is. Um, you know, you're, it's a voxel-based game, adventure, you know, action combat. You run around, level up your character, collect weapons, fight bosses, fight monsters and you know things of that nature so how do you do that well that's pretty cool pretty interesting you collect these things called uh shards let me show you in this chest here i have some these things right here or sorry fragments keystone fragments as you can see i have 96 of the forest 111 arctic one desert and then i got a couple of these guys too these are keystones these will open up portals to uh adventure areas for you to go and check out and you know get some epic loots and beat up some monsters and stuff. But anyway, you would here, you know what? Let me uh, let me just grab some of these. I let's grab that's not what I want to do. There we go. Let's grab those. So to create a keystone, which you can get from rewards and things of that nature as well, but you collect these fragments which you mine them. You have to find them, you can mine them. And you go up to this keystone kiln, you hit E, which is the activator for most things in the game. And then you can see here of uh, the keystones that you know how to make. You can create commons. Uh, this one is what you start with, common forest keystone. You know how to make that in this room that we're standing in over on one of these sides. I don't remember which one now. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, the keystone fragments that you can mine. And the other side has some iron and stuff on it. Um, but anyway, so to create one, you, it takes five of these fragments to create a normal one. You just go, drop them in there and hit craft and it will boom start doing its whirl a gig ma thing a bob ma jig and bam there we go in our inventory we have a common keystone fragment well what do we do with them well, i'm going to use this one this is an unstable i do not know the difference between stable or regular ones and unstable ones um if you know this game and you're in the alpha and you know the difference between the stable and unstable let me know please because i haven't been able to figure it out anyway you uh what you do once you have a keystone is you go up to this thing right here and you just whoop, throw it in there. And this thing will do a fancy schmancy little animation sequence as you can see right here. Open up and whoom, creates a portal to your desired realm. 
and you just kind of run right through it. Holy crap, where'd my shirt go? That is so bright, it's causing my green screen to go ape bonkers. There we go. Uh, over here are screenshots. You can vote to, for which one is the best looking one. I kind of like that one, so we're gonna click that. And then we're bracing for impact, so that means the area's about ready to load. Um, well, and there it goes. And so here we are, we're in this area now. This is an adventure area for you to go around, mine, collect, and things. And there's dungeons, little secret hidden things throughout the game too. Think of this kind of almost like Stargate, because this would be kind of like a Stargate platform. This is where you arrive and whatnot. So, as you can see up there, on that island up there, there is some kind of structure we could go explore if we wanted to build up to it. And over there is another one. We're going to go check that out. But uh, caves. There's a cave here. And caves can be very interesting. You can find all kinds of things in caves. So here's some iron. Oh, by the way, you might notice I'm holding two picks. That's because you can dual wield. Oh, yeah. Dual wield mining is the best thing ever. I mean, it's kind of eh when you're doing it one by one, but, whoa, oh God. Oh, found the way down. So we can run down here and there's some, you know, mushrooms and some more iron and stuff down here. Nothing too fancy in this cave, but hidden down here somewhere, which I don't know if we will take the time to actually find it, there is something cool. And how can I tell? Well, if you look at the mini map, there's a little castle or tower icon right up over, whoops, there, right up toward the top of the other screen or other corner. That usually signifies some kind of landmark or something of that nature. Um, we are going to run around here a little bit to see if we see anything out of the order. But usually down here you will find, ooh, creepy critter crawly things. Wait, I have a sword. What am I worried about, right? Da da da. Level up. Cool. You'll find that this kind of stuff. And oh, it's a puppy. Hello, puppy dog. Oh, uh, ooh, it got dark. Uh, ugh. Let's go back to this. I, I like my bow, but for the sake of this video, we'll stick with the sword. Cool. So, you know, and you find rare monsters, which will drop things that are useful. There are several types of biomes so far with, I'm sure, more planned along the way for you to adventure in. And each one of those is different, holds different types of enemies, and you can uh, get different types of loots from each one. And of course, different types of building blocks, because Everything you see here is mineable. Ooh. I hear something else. Oh! Hi! Die! Bye! I rhymed. That was cool. So, yeah. You have uh, different biomes with different stuff, and you find caves everywhere, and there's a dungeon in each one of these levels that you fight your way through. Uh, all the loot, by the way, as far as I am aware, is completely instanced. So, you know, someone else can't grab your loot and you can't see, you can't grab their loot and see their loot and stuff. So, which, that's always a nice feature and a bonus. And we're not going to hang out in this cave too much because there is too many other things to take a look at and do and explore. Like chickens. No, not really like chickens, but yeah. So, let's run over to that big castle thing. Actually, there was a smaller house. I wanted to look at that. Uh, okay. So yeah, it, it shares a lot of aspects between like Cube World and Trove because it's very, ooh, another cave, very adventure oriented. And uh, yeah, the smithy, hi, whoa, that, what a way, what a greeting. Hi guys. Whew, yeah. And in these little houses and stuff, you can usually find, you know, some kinds of loots, not all the time. But you'll find chests and whatnot laying around, which is neat. And usually contain some pretty cool stuff. You may only use your own machines. What? Ah, whatever. So, let's get out of here, because that was actually not very interesting. At least not to me. But the game, the graphics, I really, really kind of dig the graphics of the game. They, they're, you know, they're cubes, they're voxels like we see in so many games today, but I don't know, the, the world feels very vibrant. It has the same vibrancy um, as the other games that I've mentioned, but I, I like the texturing just a bit better. 
All right, so let's go in here. Hi, how you doing? Can I interest you in a subscription to Turtles Home Compound? Oh, you're dead. Whatever. Guess you're not interested. Gosh. Uh, let's run upstairs. But anyway, so yeah, you run through these realm, or you know, through these little adventure realms, areas, whatever you want to call. There's no chest up there. That's lame. And you fight bad guys like this hoodlum over here. Hi, hoodlum. How you doing, buddy? Say, oh, you're not doing well. Oh, there's another hoodlum. Hello, hoodlum. Gah! <laughs> Go away. Go away. Thank you. And, you know, you collect loot, monies, rank up from killing things and exploring, which opens up more things you can craft. More things you can do, more places you can go, all kinds of cool stuff like that. And, you know, it, I believe, whoa, buddy. I think that this game, I'm pretty actually pretty sure this game is going to be free to play when it is done. See, here's a chest and we have some money. We have some, ah, guy hitting us in the back. Where'd you go? Oh, you're an archer. That's fine. You can go away. To. Quit hitting me. I'm trying to make a video. You are being not very conducive to a video making environment. But yeah, there's stuff in here that you know you can loot. And you got some we got some rods, some cotton, some different what what kind of iron was that actually? Because there's different way high iron chunks. I don't have any of those. Um, there's different types of irons and, and different colors of iron, I guess you could say that you can collect and they do seem to have some kind of minor effect on how on the things that you create with them really no there's more to this there should be a dungeon here somewhere oh what am i missing seriously what am i missing how? did i take a wrong turn in albuquerque oh here we go whoa hi but all these uh, ruins and stuff are, I think, really cool looking. I mean, check out the yeah, chandelier. That's pretty spiffy. Oh, we got some big chests in here. Let's see what we have. More money. Some more iron. Some pelts. But yeah, and all these chests, like I said, the loot is instant. So if you're in, a, in somewhere and somebody joins and runs around, you don't have to worry about them grabbing your stuff because they get their own set of stuff. Oh, oh, I can duel now. Check that out. Yeah. Ha, 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 dual sword. Actually, I think I'm gonna take all of this stuff. Whoop, cool. So. What the heck? I'm moving forward as I slice now. That's weird. Maybe you can't do a little sword, so I just think you can. Well, okay, I can, but it's just. Weird. That's funky. Okay, moving along. I think I'll put a torch back, actually, for now. Whoop. Ah, yeah. So I'm a cat guy wearing a wolf's head. How. Interesting is that, and is this one any better? You know, it has strength, one x strength, one x strength, durability ten. Yeah, okay. So we'll keep the one we currently actually have equipped, and we will throw some of these suckers back on there. Okay, now we're good. So now we found the actual beginning of the dungeon. And as you go through here, when you actually get to the dungeon part itself, there should be a little campfire. Oh, dungeon. How I missed the... There should be a little campfire close by here somewhere. That's a cool lamp. I hope I can learn that recipe later. Probably through these doors, I would think. Yep, there's a campfire. Now, here you can take a quick nap. Basically, what this does is this checkpoint. So if you die, this is where you respawn instead of, you know, leaving the level and being epically boned hi how are you doing buddy ah let's kick your ever-loving katushkas that's a technical term katushkas at least uh, so the doctors tell me um but yeah you go through here you loot you kill 
you make bad jokes as I'm doing. Explore everything along the way because you never know what you're going to find. Some purple iron bars are cool. But yeah, i kind of having fun with this game. It is strangely addictive. I mean, I've played Cube World. I play Trove. Obviously, I play Minecraft, which is what all these games have been inspired by. Oh, and yes, the world, as you can see, I'm breaking the world as I'm swinging swords. Is that a chest? There is a chest. Look at that. Mm, nothing I care about. Um, but yeah, you know, I play Minecraft, which all these games, Trove, this, everything else, ooh, has all been inspired by it in some form or fashion. And this one is just really, I don't know, it's really addictive. I mean, I've been playing it casually for really a few days now. I've actually had a invite into the alpha for quite some time, and I didn't realize it. So, if you guys sign up on the Sky Saga site to join the alpha, do not expect to see an email. You, they will send you one apparently, but it will most likely, if it's if you're using Gmail like I do, for whatever reason, it probably goes to your spam box. <laughs> which, you know, I, I've been able to download the game forever and play forever. <laughs> Who knows how many alphas ago. And, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know it until just recently. So, best way if you sign up and you want to try and get access to the game during this alpha cycle uh, is to sign up for the alpha and then, you know, every few days, periodically check your account because uh, once you have access there will be a download link on your account page for you to go ahead, download, and jump right in and start playing. And yeah, so yeah, that that is, ooh, I think we're at the end already. That's awesome, cool. So, whoop, we hit that checkpoint, and here we are, the end chamber. We have this guy down here, he has a shield, he's, a, he's the boss of this area, as you can see, he has like 6K health, and that's gonna take a minute, especially with him blocking. Because when he blocks, I can't do any damage to him. And as it is, I'm out doing a lot of damage to him. So You can power attack when he blocks. And that will sometimes break his block. But, I mean, this isn't the only boss. There's all kinds of critters in this game that you will fight. I've seen skeletons that if you can... See, if I run all the way up and out, he won't leave that room. At least I haven't seen them leave that room. But the skeletons, they definitely don't leave. Yeah, see, he stops right there. Or not. Yeah, prove me wrong, buddy. Okay, so last night I was fighting a skeleton boss. And, uh, yeah, he didn't leave the room. He just stood in the doorway throwing freaking rocks at me, trying to get me to come back in. That was, uh, so I kind of thought they just, they were stuck in here, but apparently not. Uh, of course, there are food items that you can use that will restore your health when you get low. I was not thinking, so I didn't bring any. And so, yeah, I need to kind of be careful. Not that he's actually hurting me too bad, but now I'm out of stamina. When you run out of stamina, you can still fight, but you're not gonna do as much. Whoa, where did you come from? Rubber Ducky, hi, Rubber Ducky. You're welcome to join me. Say hi to YouTubes. Not that you can hear me right now. But yeah, so uh, you're, you can, uh, as you can see, people, it is a social game. People can jump in and find your open instance by the same method that, you know, just by opening a portal. And uh, yeah, so let's jump through here. Let's take a look at this grand chest here and uh, grab some stuffs out of it because I don't really want everything that's in here. And I'm not going to worry about looting the rest of the room. There is, as you can see, a chest over there. And behind some of these doors and stuff, there'll be chests too. But basically, you loot the place. You can grab whatever items you want. Like, you know, I can break down these doors and get iron chunks and whatnot. Or, you know, I can tear down the walls and get building blocks. You can use, mine in these worlds. Whatever you want to do. And you just jump through the portal and it takes you boom oh there goes my shirt again it's all gone god dang it i hate these energy transferences oh that's much better um <clears throat> yeah and you can 
Take your spoils of war back to your own island. Build it up the way you see fit. And have a lot of fun doing it. Now, of course, the game does have PvP. I have not explored PvP yet. Uh, some of my equipment is about to rank. Yeah. Oh, yes. When you rank up, I should have mail in my mailbox now if I look. Yep. When you rank up, you do get cool little gifts from the Explorers Guild and various other guilds. Like, I got a wheel, a wheel barrel design, a Heroic Force Keystone, which Heroics are pretty difficult. Went through with, uh, went through a Heroic last night with uh, Watusi from Nog. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, it was uh, kind of brutal. Those guys really hurt quite a bit. And uh, if you hear people screaming in the background, forgive it. It's bedtime and they're not wanting to listen, apparently. Anyway, moving along. So... So let's go somewhere else, shall we? Let's go take a look at the hub. So you go up to your airship, you hit your E button, and boom, here you go. You can go to your home, which we we're at already. If you have any other islands, you can also go there. Like if I click on my islands, I have jungle ruins, which I haven't done anything with. And in my home island here, which is, yeah, you can go to. Uh, or, you know, you can favorite other people's stuff and visit them, blah, 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 blah. Uh, can I get back to islands? There we go. So let's go to the hub, the city of first light. What is up with this? Really? Every time I go to a loading screen, my torso is going to disappear. That's not cool, dude. <laughs> totally not cool. Uh -oh. Okay. Um, I am going to go with this one right here. Yeah, I like the fog. It looks cool. It's ah! Ugh. Okay, cool. So here we are. We are in the social area, which hi bubbles. How you doing? How you doing, bubbles? Money bags. Mm. Money bags. I'll take some money. You give me some money. All right. Uh, here you can. Tra they have traders, which their stock rotates every so many hours. You can see down here, twenty hours in one minute. And then all this stuff will change. But you have island traders, you have fabrics, you have furnitures, keystone traders, resource traders, all kinds of stuff. Arctic Max Tree. I can do it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Ooh, what do I want? Uh, the sword. Give me the sword. I'll take the sword. Oh, I got all of them. So that's even cooler. All right. So what do we got? Fabled, Forest. Hmm, nice. You can buy rare keystones or even some common keystones from this guy if you if you don't have the fragments to make the keystones you're looking for. These are not the toilets you're looking for. Uh, did I level up again? I did. Look at that. Rank 7. Wow. Um, and now I have the full freaking inventory. Uh, let's, uh, so let's show you how to use all these great items and recipes you get from all your rank up rewards. Simply drag them to your bar, select them, let's go, whoop, nah, that one, and then just, you know, click whichever hand they're currently in and you learn that recipe. And I should have showed this on lesson, but it tells you what you can use to make that recipe. And as you can see here, this is not, <coughs> oh, excuse me, this is not a requirement. It needs two pelts and you can use two pelts of any of these colors here. I mean, it has to be the same color, so, you know, you can't say use a red pelt and a gray pelt, but you can use two red pelts or two orange pelts, two green pelts, whatever. Um, so, and like four leather, you know, so yeah, it, when you learn the recipe, it automatically opens it up and tells you what it is that you need to make it. Uh, and you can see right here, it says set personal quest, uh, Arctic blade recipe here. Um, what this does, this will set a little thing up on your bar, like right there, where it says craft steel edge using, no, that's not the right one, but um, it should help basically let you track the, what you, I think I leveled up again from learning recipes. Yes, I did. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so, or maybe I didn't. No, I just learned the recipe and it must have been a cool recipe or something. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it will it le should le help you track the items that you need to be able to get through now when you're adventuring you will find these things called ambers and you take them here to the city of first light 
you come vi visit Tao Ying here, which looks pretty cool. You talk to them, and you show them this amber. You give them this. Whoop! No, you don't put it there. You drag it over here, place amber treasure here, and they will purify it, and you will get whatever is inside of it. In this case, I got ten like rocks, blocks, things, and it could be anything from a common block that you mine to, you know, some really awesome freaking gear. Uh, this is also where you come to pick up quests. So this is your general hub. You can come here to participate with, with in PvP. Uh, there's a little build-off thing, which I haven't done yet, but I'm definitely going to be trying out. Um, that you can do while you're here as well. And yeah, so it's kind of a cool little area. Right now, really, that is all there is to this game. I mean, you have the social hub. You can visit other people's lands. You can go on adventures, beat up bad guys, collect loot and build to your heart's content on your islands. Um, so I think it's a pretty fun game and it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, like I said, if you guys go to their website and you sign up for Alpha Access, keep a couple things in mind. Like I said, <clears throat> ooh, voice. Uh, I've recorded three videos today, so yeah. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, keep in mind, uh, check the website to see if you get download access, do that every couple of days because they're giving out they give out keys quite a bit, or give out access to the game quite a bit. Uh, maybe follow their Twitter because apparently they, uh, from what I've heard, I don't know because I'll be honest, I'm not following their Twitter, but apparently they will toss out keys on Twitter a lot of the time, so you can you know get access that way as well. Oh, that is sweet. I wonder what that is. Hmm, I might have to figure that out. Um, but it's a fun game and definitely worth a look. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind, though, since it is alpha, things will be changing, and that also does mean that there will be oh god, character wipes. Am I being character wiped? What's going on here? Uh, okay, Whew. I thought they were alpha character wiping me, that would have been bad. Um, but yeah, the uh, keep in mind that uh that there will be character wipes you will be starting over but that's not necessarily a bad thing at all because it gives you a chance to learn the basic mechanics and play around with, experiment with ideas oh right uh, this pick that i'm using in my right hand on your home island tears great big chunks out of things as you just saw with one tiny little smash like that bam like i said i may have broke this earlier it's it's definitely a possibility that i could have broke you know part of my island yeah um so yeah definitely i would say come check it out guys it is a good game it is very fun it's strangely addicting and until next time i'm jumping off the world oh that didn't work so anticlimactic all right guys till next time this is neat